Uh, hello, my name is Zoe and I am a lecturer in translational epigenomics and program lead for the MSc Genomics at the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Southampton. Okay, so day to day, um, it's actually changed over time and that's an odd thing about a job in science. So you start off with being super good at one thing, like being in the lab, and then you end up basically sitting at a desk being a manager. So when I was in the lab, I used to basically uh, grow cells, uh, run experiments, do some data analysis, that sort of thing. Um, now I spend all my time writing grants, papers, planning the MSc that I run, the master's degree and helping students. So when I first started out in the lab, you sort of, you need an acute attention to detail, which you still need as you become a manager, but lots and lots of dexterity, I suppose, uh, when you're first in the lab. Um, but then as you progress onto a managerial, that really changes to kind of just computational skills, um, lots of editing skills, that sort of thing. So the sort of person I think this would suit is somebody who's extremely passionate about science um, because it's sort of all encompassing. It takes up a lot of your life, really. Um, somebody who wants to learn, who wants to expand their knowledge, who wants to push the boundaries of what we really know. Um, and particularly for what I do, someone who wants to make a difference. So probably the best thing about what I do is the freedom to do what I want, to solve problems, to help people, uh, that kind of thing. You get to work with some amazingly clever people um, and that can really help you grow as a person as well. Probably the most challenging is um, the competitiveness. So in order to get grants and things like that, it, it is very competitive and as I say, you're competing with some extremely clever people. So, you know, you really have to bring your A game. <laughs> so to do what I do, you definitely need a degree. Um, you need at least two, maybe three degrees. Some people do three degrees. Um, so I studied molecular genetics and biotechnology at Sussex University. Um, I then went on to do a PhD in developmental genetics at Sussex University. Some people do a master's in between their undergraduate degree and their PhD. Um, and sometimes people do that if they start doing one subject area and then want to specialise in something different. So in terms of what you can earn, when you, you actually can be paid to do a PhD. It's not a great deal of money, but it's tax free. Um, after your PhD, you probably start on around 25 to 30,000 uh, pounds, depending on where you work um, as a postdoc. From there, you can progress to a lecturer, um, to an associate professor and then a professor and a professor can earn like 100k things like that but it's a it's a tough it's a tough pyramid to get to the top of any tips for a young person probably assess every single opportunity that comes your way and decide what is right for you don't be scared to try something new for sure is this what i thought i would do when i was a teenager yes like a hundred percent yes um my dad was a science i knew i'd do something in science I did work at funeral directors for a little bit, um, but again, that's kind of embalming, so that's kind of science. Um, but I chose the job because I just, I love the challenge of this job and I always knew I wanted to do it. It was just a case of what type of science I would do and where I would do it.